www.pncradio.fm. You are in tune. We're rocking with the best, of course. Myself, Cisco, Lyris. Yes, Amira, hey, hey. Um, Fox and Low Key and Kaz and DJ Zeke and Janice and the rest of the people, man, they coming soon. Um, we got MJ from Shards of Sunset here with us. Hey, hey. how are you? We usually have like bells hey. and whistles. Yeah, I know. Our DJ we're just, is. We just moved here. It's our new yeah. house. Okay. Over there. Yes. Well, we'll try to fill up that dead airspace right now. <laughs> <laughs> got this, got this. Yo, you look like you look nothing like you do on TV. Especially when you like, sit tonight. Take episode. that as a compliment. You know, I am. Nah, because <laughs> I am. I, when I came in, I was like, Who the fuck is that? Nah, not, that's not the woman I've seen on TV. I know. What do you? The best have you lost? You lost. They look like you lost weight. Yes, I gained weight from season one to two to three to four, a lot more than I care to admit. But then I since lost twenty pounds. So since awesome. the show ended, this yes, new season. Yes, yes, and Congrats. we start. Thank you. So we wrapped around October, and October first, I started with the trainer about three days a week, and I said, you know what? Even though I'm gonna look like a house on camera, some of the things that I've been wearing. I just want to say by the, to myself, by the time the show airs, that I won't be in that place. And thank God, honestly. But, I mean, I feel blessed that I did it because yeah. otherwise I would have never gained it if it was an easy thing to do. Tablescape. Mm. But, cool. but you guys are so close that it's not the, the ratchet reunions we're, we're accustomed That's to. That's not true. Um, <laughs> I had my best friend of childhood serve my ass to me in ways I should have sued him for and maybe even had, like, a hit out for him. What are you talking about? Reza? I'm talking about, yeah, I mean, Reza said some really nasty things, and my nature was not to really fight back with the fire that he was coming at me with. Okay. That's just my style. That's how my parents raised me, to just kind of take the high road. I don't think I'm the same person today than I was back then. Today, I would have fought harder and, like... How's your relationship with your mom now? Because I know we saw that you guys were going through therapy and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Um, it's always, she's always going to be Vida, but I can tell that with age, we all get better and she is making such an effort to, to just make, to just let us be friends as well as mother daughter. I can feel that. So I see that there's like improvements. It's gradual. Like I'll still say, I'll like, I'll raise my voice to her and I'll basically say, if you, if you go there, if you, if you're, if we're having lunch right now, we're supposed to have a good time, right. but if you're going to take it to that and then I will start to, to literally cause a scene in a restaurant and then she'll be like, okay, okay, you just be, and like, she'll get embarrassed and I'm mm -hmm. just basically throwing it right back at her. The yes. things that she would do mm -hmm. at the mall. Have you ever seen the moms who like embarrass the shit out of their kids and then yeah. humiliate them by yeah. having them? My mom did that to me all my life. Do you think maybe that's affected you in maybe your relationships with men or relationships even with girlfriends men tell me every guy that i've dated is so different from the other one but they all leave me with the same parting words which is really scary they'll say you're closed your heart is not open to me you're too independent emotionally you're not available i mean the things that this Yikes. yeah and i mean one of them is arab the other one is a white boy they're so different i can't find any common denominator but when they're leaving and saying you were this the same time. How many times do you have to hear it over and over again before you realize, I have to work on things. Where did that come from? Mm -hmm. My mom and dad. Hands down. Mm. There's no denying that that... This is why I'm single. So you're going to be a million dollar matchmaker soon? No, I have not said yes. I've said no to them many, many times. I feel you like um, you're going to do that. Because they're really starting to hit why the have reality you said stars. No? Candace... Is a really cool girl. I've met her. She came up to me at a sports bar and, and like she was already a little turned up and we had fun, but no, because I'd rather go on match or something. I mean, wait, I'll that, try it. Yeah, with the millionaire yeah, matchmaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, you I mean, you're able to promote whatever you want to know and you get a date and you get, a, you know. Are you, do you think like Patty will be like too hard on you and not ready to deal with it? I'm, oh no, I love the truth. Okay. I actually got lied to as a child by both of my parents so much that. Patty can lay it on me as thick as she wants. And mm -hmm. the thing is, maybe actually the first time they asked me was 20 pounds ago. Mm -hmm. So I just knew I wasn't in a very good place. Like when you're overweight, like I don't want to see anyone, anyone to see me naked right now. I'm in a much better place. So yeah, so maybe. I find it very funny that Gigi is like going at Mike for like starting all this shit when she is notorious for being that person, that drunk person that just wants to throw hands with everybody. Yeah, she deserves... What do you feel about that? Golnas, Gigi deserves anything that, any shade that she gets at people for telling her, you're the last person to be calling, you know, the pot to be calling the kettle black because she sounded really... 
She sounded Come on really with it. hypocritical. Come on okay? with it. There we go. Yes. Come on with it. it was very <laughs> hypocritical for her to say that, point out that someone else was drunk or someone else was acting out or inappropriate. Because she and I, again, we're friends year round. It's not just a show. Right. Mm -hmm. We go to places every single night, and if she doesn't start shit with someone, then I consider that like success. Okay, so she's the last person that should be criticizing anyone for mm -hmm. anything, mm -hmm. and I just think that. She's a naughty girl who should not be talking shit about Mike. You know, this is me. I'm not sure if they asked you this before I got here, but does this get tiring just keeping up with all the shit? Because <laughs> yes. like, does it get like with Mike and Gigi and Gigi's the brother? Drama does, does, does it get tiring? It does, you know, because. Because I notice you take a deep breath every time you explain a new story. Like, okay, let me just let me remember this. Like, right, because. Like, how does it. How do you do like, it? When Amira said. Do you get jealous of Jeannie and Mike being friends? And I said, absolutely not. I also get exhausted being having to choose between Mike being able to come and, you know, Reza didn't go to his engagement and right. now what about the wedding? I mean, you know, Mike hasn't gotten married yet. His wedding is right around the corner. Yeah. I am exhausted by people who keep lying for those of us in our cast who don't want to tell the truth all the time yeah. and want to run the, around the same track over and over again. Yeah. Um, I'm all about... Being truth. courageous and yeah. yeah, and telling the truth and stepping up, even if it's so hard. So that's what I try to do when I'm talking to my friends is just find your way of having your come to Jesus so that we can all squash it and be friends. There was that uh, okay. one episode okay, where you well. you had to recover a video <laughs> on your uh, many your videos. laptop. Oh, many videos. Many videos. A library. So are you you know somewhat of an amateur actress in your spare time? I'm still waiting for my sex tape to get accidentally leaked because I think it's <laughs> really good. I have more sex than anyone I know, and I'm telling you this includes all the cast. We talk about it all the time. One of the people doesn't have sex in the morning, which I think is a deal breaker. We were morning talking. Sex is the f me and my shahs were talking about how like one of them will refuse and deny sex in the That's morning. That's disrespect. What's that? Horrible. And the, the average on my other castmates is twice a week. Yeah, who said, said that? So you, you're, ev you're every day. Oh, you'll see. It's okay. on BravoTV.com. Oh. You're every oh. day. <laughs> I am at least four times in a 24-hour period. At least in a 24-hour period. No, no I, I need from one to ten. What is your free Twelve. I swear. Um, right, so is there anything you won't do? Uh, approximate. Mm, anything that I don't want to do is what I won't do. But otherwise, I'm okay. What haven't you not done? Um, I have not more than once had a menage a trois. So that was something I just did not Were there two guys and then you? I was the only girl. Okay. It was sweet. How old were you? It was sweet? <laughs> I was 21. Okay. It was sweet? There's nothing sweet about that. No, no, no. And you're the woman, it is. Hello? No, I mean it as in no, like the white surfer like way. The white people way, the no, way like they say sweet. like sweet, like surfers. Like, like awesome. awesome. Like it's awesome, it cool. guys. Yeah, it, it was nice. Like, it was cool. like the French people say nice, they're like, it's very nice. It was very, very nice. nice. We had Amber Rose on our, our wonderful show, and she, um, she said that she doesn't take it in the butt. So I told her, you're not a 10 because oh. you're not. if you don't do that, you can't possibly be a 10. So you saying you're a 12 tells me um, that you have no problem. Does it really mean Last, she's a it, you she there, went over. We had this whole argument. Argument. She went no, over. Listen, out. Listen, over 10 means that not only do you do that, to him. but you probably initiate that. Let me tell you Just, something. This is his world, though. Okay, love right, love Rose. Okay, I love her. She actually. We love her, by the way. Yeah, too. I love What's her. Up, her? She came up to me last Coachella. And we had a little moment where she talked to me about the commonalities between her mom, her relationship with her mother, that she had that she has seen with my mom and I. Mm -hmm. um, yet again, we're on the same damn page. I will not have anal sex. Um, my 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 <laughs> first and last time was with yeah was with the guy that we lost each other's virginity to each other. And why do I need to? If the box is good and tight enough, you do <laughs> not need to give. Thank you. Well, Listen, this is, this go, is yes. let's just go right into the rapid fire five, where we ask five questions, and you can omit one. We don't like when you omit one, but you can. Obviously, it's a free Real country. Real G's don't omit one. Real G's do not omit. <laughs> this girl doesn't also like because you don't do anal. Hennessy drinkers do not omit. Yeah, right. and she's drinking it straight, by the way, guys. Good for yeah. you. Straight, yeah, she yes. is. Yeah. Which looks like you need a refill. 
But no, I just had the last shot in but preparation yeah, for rapid fire. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. Uh, besides Shaz, which which is your favorite Bravo reality show? Real Housewives of Orange County. Interesting. Okay. I like them Most too. annoying Bravo levity. Ooh. Um. Shit. You know, I hate to say this, but it's only how you come across. But Kelly Ben Simone putting down Bethany at that one dinner that they had. Mm. Um, I hate it when people put other people down. I didn't see so that. So Kelly Ben Simone is on that list. First person I came, that came to mind. You know, MJ got morals, B. So you have uh, enormous boobs. Yes. And, and you have a nice, amazing butt. Thank so you. So we had to reduce one. What would you? What, My, which, what, what would have to go? If I had to reduce one, which it doesn't mean it's gonna go, it's mm -hmm. gonna be the boobs because, be yeah, because the the boobs have to be a little bit smaller than the ass. Okay. For the if perfect. If you had to get rid of somebody, someone from Shaz, who are you getting rid of? Also. <laughs> <laughs> um, Transparency uh, is also, awesome. Also, also Asifa, and the reason why it's gonna be Asifa is because. I would never get rid of my friend. All right, last one. Yeah. Favorite sexual position. Doggy. Duh. 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 Well, there Duh. goes that. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. All day AMC. long. AMC. <laughs>